On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we're tasting James E. Pepper 1776. Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today we have a great review. It is James E. Pepper 1776. Now, for those of you that don't know, this used to be sourced by MGP, but as one of my viewers pointed out to me, it is now being bottled by James E. Pepper, Lexington, Kentucky, and being distilled in Kentucky. So um, it says it's aged over three years, but it appears this is no longer MGP juice even though on the nose it smells very MGP to me. Now, before we get too far into this review, I know this is a bottle that is not going to get a lot of views on my channel, and that's okay. For those of you who subscribe to my channel, I always want to make you guys aware of value bourbons that are really good, whether I get views, a lot of views on those or not. So that's why we're reviewing 1776 today. It is a bottle that's under $30 that I really, really enjoy that I passed on the shelf way too often until a Patreon sent me a sample of that. So Aaron, if you're listening, thank you for turning me on to 1776. It is a great bottle way too many people are passing on. All right, let's get into the scoring system. For those of you that are new to the Whiskey Tornado, let me quickly explain our scoring system to you. We have six categories. We rate those zero to one, 0.5 being average. Um, at the end, we add those categories up. Any score of three or better, the bottle is bar worthy. Anything four or better, it's bunker sum. It's really, really good. All right, so let's get into our first category. It's presentation. The presentation on this bottle, it's just okay. I don't hate it, I don't love it, uh, but I do like that it's a little bit old fashioned. It doesn't have too much going on. It just says James E. Pepper, 1776 on the bottle. Straight bourbon whiskey, 100 proof, unfiltered. On the back, it's got a uh, you know illustration of the snake with born with the Republic on the back. So um, the presentation is just average for me. We're gonna give it a 0.5. All right, moving on to the nose. Let's go to the nose on this. Mm. I guys, I love the nose on this this bourbon. It when I first smelled it blind, I thought this was MGP, and then I found out it was sourced by MGP. Then I found out it's no longer being sourced by MGP, but it's got MGP all over the nose. It's got that higher rye mash bill that you can smell. It smells like rye bread almost. There's like, um, almost like orange marmalade. Yeah, there's like a really nice note of orange marmalade on there. A uh, nice, nice thread of oak running through it. I get white pepper on this. And toffee, toffee, white pepper, orange marmalade. Those are the notes, it's beautiful. The nose is really, really good. We're gonna give it a 0. 0.7. All right, moving on to the palate. Cheers, guys. The palate for a $30 bourbon to me is really good. It's a little bit tannic, a little bit drying. It's one of the knocks I have on this. Um, doesn't have a ton of weight, but again, you're getting a $30 bourbon. What I do get is that high rye. There's that berries and cream that I get in a lot of MGP products. Um, let me go in for another sip. Mm. On the back end of the palate, I get a really nice toffee note, almost like some, uh, some milk chocolate as well. Um, and oak carries through the entire way. It is a little bit drying, a little bit thin, but again, we're talking about a $30 bourbon here, but this is extremely drinkable. For $30, you want a drinkable bourbon, and this is it. This is something you're not gonna sit down and, and wanna find a bunch of flavors and dive too deep into. This is a bourbon, if you're watching a football game or a movie, you don't wanna think too much about it, you just wanna enjoy some nice bourbon notes. Um, with a bourbon that's not gonna fight you too hard. This is a winner all day long. Uh, the palate is really nice for what it is. Yeah, and again, tastes very MGP to me. Still have a hard time believing it's not. Um, so I'm gonna give it a 0.6. It's better than average. It's not gonna totally blow your socks off, but again, we're talking about a $30 bourbon. 
Okay, moving on to the finish. The finish on this is, is shorter than medium. Um, it's I'm getting some, on the back end, some toffee, some of that white pepper, uh, some nice barrel spice, um, some nice rice spice as well. Um, but it's, it's not anything fantastic. Again, the finish isn't going to blow your socks off, but this is a nice, easy sipping bourbon. We're going to give it a 0.3 on the finish. All right, moving on to availability. Um, it's a 0.8. You can find this everywhere. This is a bourbon that I passed over and over and over again until one of my Patreon members sent it to me in a blind and, uh, and I discovered that I loved it tasting it blind. So, um, Availability is a 0 0.8. You shouldn't have tr you shouldn't have a hard time finding this bottle. Okay, moving on to our last category, and that is value, and this is where this shines. You're getting a hundred proof bourbon that is unfiltered uh, for thirty dollars, around thirty dollars. You really can't beat it with for the taste, for the nose. Um, it's everything you'd want in a thirty dollar bourbon. I wish I would have put this in my recent um, best value bourbons under $30 uh, blind flight. I would have loved to have seen where this stacked up. I may have to do a part two to that and include this in there because I think it would beat a lot of those bourbons um, if you saw my last video. So we're going to give it a 0.7. That brings our total score for James E. Pepper 1776 to a 3.6, making it a bar worthy bourbon. For $30, you can't go wrong with this. Don't pass this up on the shelf. It's a really good bourbon with some great uh, nosing notes of orange marmalade, um, some, some awesome notes of toffee and uh, berries and cream on the palate. The finish is a little lacking. It's a little thin, a little drying. Other than that, this is a fantastic bourbon for the money. Great value. Don't pass this up. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Until next time, cheers.